Thou shalt not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Well, I'd like to introduce you this morning to one of the earliest members of Emmanuel Bible Church. This is Gwen Saunders. She and her husband, Herb, joined the church in 1980 and helped us begin the church. Herb was one of the first deacons, uh, along with uh, Dick Lovell. And uh, Herb and Gwen served Emmanuel for years and years and years. When I was visiting with Gwen about a month ago, she mentioned the Bible memory that she began at Emmanuel has really meant a great deal to her. So we wanted to have this uh, conversation with Gwen so that you could hear it and you might, you might understand why we're now beginning our new Bible memory and reading program that's called Emmanuel today. Well, actually, I tried memorizing many times before this. I finally had some success uh -huh. at all. I couldn't figure out how people did it because I would put little three by five cards up above my sink and Wash, when I was washing dishes, I tried to memorize. Finally, I, when I had my first heart attack, <laughs> I was 69 years old, so I was this old when I finally started memorizing. I got a treadmill. That was a perfect place to, to work with my memory hmm. verses. So finally, when I got this treadmill, I would put these three by cards up there on my treadmill, and then I'd walk for a half an hour, uh -huh. and. Um, so there's nothing else to do but look at the blank wall. <laughs> right. Otherwise, so it was, it was successful. Now I want to say that um, you did encourage me because you would encourage us to do this all the time. Then we had a member called Tom Weiler he had about a hundred verses memorized or something. Oh, I thought, my word, you know, I thought, wouldn't that be wonderful? Then as I learned a few of them, I decided that it was probably a good idea to to put them according to subject. So this one, I believe, is on the Word of God mm -hmm. and the Christian life and the light of the world. Anyway, these are all my verses. Well, I have at least 300, um, you know, all in all. And I just uh, go back over them and over them because, of course, you need to be reviewing and reviewing. Yes. Uh, these are all uh, basically about the word. One of the first ones you ever taught me is the Psalm. Yeah, 119. 11, is that the one? Uh -huh. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. All these have to do with the value of the word of God and how wonderful it is and how we need it and so on. And of course, for Jesus, of course, memorized because he used it in his temptation. Mm -hmm. that, the devil tried to tempt him, and he said, it is written, and this is what we need to do as well. I came to love the Word of God basically when I uh, defended it uh, in the church that we had gone to before we came to Emmanuel. I'm thinking of one now that Peter said, too, that he said, if always be ready to answer any man who asks you for the reason of the hope that is within you. We need to share the Word of God. This is what reveals the Lord. Is, is the word only, and the word is truth. Yes. And this is the other thing that is so thrilling, is to be able to say there is an absolute truth, and that truth is a word of God. Yeah. You can stand on it, and you can die for it, really. Since I have the macular degeneration for the last five years, I have seen, I have felt this blindness come on me, and I can't read this without a uh, magnifier. So I have a couple of different kinds of magnifiers that I can read uh, now with, but it still is not, it's difficult. I'm just so thrilled that I have many of these in my heart. Uh, Isaiah 41.10 is, Fear not, for I am with you, be not dismayed, for I, I am your God, and yes, I will strengthen you, I will help you, and I will uh, uphold you by my righteous right hand. 